Okay, so I've been asked a bunch of times about how to make bone broth, one of the most healingful things that I know, one of the best uh, supplements and also almost free. So in here we have, oh, we have a slow cooker, we have various bits of bones from a butcher, uh, sometimes we'd have big huge uh, joints, sometimes various different things, sometimes we have to take the hacksaw out and sometimes they use a bigger pot, but this is basically it. So you throw that in and then we have some garlic just roughly chopped, some ginger roughly chopped, uh, some Himalayan sea salt. So we just throw a little of this in, throw the garlic in, throw the ginger in, get some apple cider vinegar or lemon. It's just something to it takes the minerals out of the bones, so about a tablespoonful. Uh, as you can see, I don't exactly measure everything because I don't think you need to. And then top it up with water. And I'll probably put a little more water in, into it than that. But basically, do that, do this, and leave for about 18 to 24 hours, and that is it. So it's been about 24 hours. I have turned off the slow cooker about 10, 15 minutes ago, just to let it cool slightly. So you can see what it was earlier is very much not what it is now. Uh, this is actually still really hot, but you can sort of break apart bones very easily. Like uh, basically all the minerals have been kind of like leached out of it. Uh, there's meat and stuff all there, but anything good is already gone. So it's not worth saving anything other than the liquid. So I then have a big pot, just a standard uh, mesh and filter. Grab this thing, try not to burn yourself. And pour it all out. Still pretty hot. I will just throw some of the big bits into the sink. Let it cool before I put it into any bins. Uh, also, don't give the leftover bones to dogs or anything like that. <coughs> uh, all the goodness is gone from it, and also I think they can choke or something from it. So just leave it like that. And this is basically the only real washing up that you'll need to do. Let it drain off a little bit, let it cool a little bit, and then put it into various different beakers. I'd tend to put it into, well, it'd be better if this was glass, but one of these, uh, a couple of cups for easy serving. Um, and then whenever you're making, say, rice or something, put a few large tablespoonfuls of it into the rice. You'll notice when it cools, it gets all gelatiny, basically just like jelly. There'll be a layer of fat on top, and then the jelly stuff underneath. So just take a few scoops out, or if you want to make a cup of soup type thing, a couple of cup, a couple of tablespoonfuls in the bottom of a cup, and then top it up to the top with boiling water, and you have uh, a bony, meaty drink.